people on the coast are preparing for that storm. Some of them are headed this way to seek shelter, and it comes at the same time as the Tryon Equestrian Center is getting ready to open their gates for what is an international audience. So 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown has an update from the South Carolina Welcome Center. Kim. We're at the Welcome Center talking to travelers just to get insight on what they feel and what they see as they're looking for shelter. A lot of people doing that at this hour. Hotel rooms are at a premium as people travel as they're looking for a place to stay. Many booked rooms weeks in advance for the try on equestrian games, while others set out to find last minute shelter from Hurricane Florence. Aware that traveling to find shelter can be stressful, most hotels do what they can to accommodate their guests. So a lot of families are not used to traveling and don't travel much and you know it could even be their first time traveling. And so we want to make sure that we make this a home away from home for them. We will actually um, staff a few extra people on each shift just so because we know there's extra people in the hotel and that we can accommodate all of these people. While most hotels have a no pet policy, the Hampton Inn says they'll waive that policy and allow their guests to bring their pets with them because it's an emergency. Reporting from the Welcome Center, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. South Carolina's emergency management system is saying they're ready to deploy to whichever area needs the most assistance. Governor McMaster said that he's asking President.